Hello, hello, and welcome back to Two Chicks Going Green. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about food storage at home and keeping it as green as possible. So today's is a little bit of a tricky video because I'm going to be talking about these reusable uh, storage food bags. And these bags are meant to help reduce that single-use waste that's caused by those nasty single-use Ziploc bags that everyone buys. So these guys can really help reduce that. However, that being said, they're just not my favorite alternative. There's lots of other more sustainable alternatives out there, which I'm going to talk about in just a little bit, but I would like to review these guys just because I bought them to try them out. And so I wanted to share my thoughts with you on these, as well as what I think about those other food storage type bags that are out on the market right now. Now, these kinds of swaps are kind of important, not just because it's better for the environment, which Lunchkins claims that just one of these can save 500 Ziplocs or so from going in the trash, so that's pretty cool. So not just environmental, but also for your health. Because as you know from some of our other videos, when you store food in plastic, like Ziploc bags and plastic Tupperwares, if that food is very hot or very cold or subjected to any sort of you know, temperature change, then those nasty toxic chemicals that are in the plastic can leach into your food and then of course you consume it and no good for anyone at all. Okay, so let's talk about some of the pros and cons that I found to these lunch skins. Well, first off, as you can see, they're pretty darn cute. I mean, they have lots of little designs. Uh, they have up to like a gallon size, I think. Each one is about $7 to about $12, depending on the size, and then if you get a set of two, then you obviously see uh, a savings in the price. So that's also good. Over time, you'll definitely save money because each of the Ziploc bag boxes, I guess, would cost you around $4 or $5, and you're just throwing that money away. That's literally gonna go into the trash. So from that perspective, I think these are a good option. If you have kids, these are actually a really great alternative because you can just pop them in the dishwasher. So you don't have to spend all the time cleaning them by hand like you would with some other uh, alternatives for food storage. So that's also a plus. Now these are made from non-toxic polyurethane, but ones like the Sasha bags are made from um, hybrid silicone. Still, I wouldn't want them to come into contact with hot food. Now on the cons side, I'd say, again, like I said before, these are made from polyurethane, which technically is plastic, which just contributes to our plastic problem since over time they will start to degrade. Um, I haven't had mine long enough for that to happen, or, nor do I use them enough for that to happen, but I have heard of that happening to people who use them very, very often, and so the plastic on the inside, this part starts to disintegrate a little bit, and that can be pretty dangerous if you have your food in there and that, you know, those little microplastics are going in there. So. I don't want that and neither should you. Um, so yeah, so that contributes to our plastic problem just like all the other food storage bags that are made of some sort of type of plastic. I just don't really like that. No matter how long they last, they're not gonna last. I mean, they will kind of last forever on the planet but they're not gonna be good for you to use for forever and that's really the problem right there. Of course, this is still better than going through multitudes of Ziploc bags every day. So if you do do that already, then this is a great alternative for you. Something else that I did read, which I figured could happen to these, is that if you don't store them completely dry, mold could form on the inside. Uh, yeah. Lunchkins have two different types that they offer. They have one with Velcro, and that one's really great for like sandwiches um, and stuff that's not gonna, you know, fall out the sides or anything like that. Um, and then this one with a zipper, which is awesome for uh, snacks like carrots and peas and nuts and that sort of chocolate, chocolate, definitely. <laughs> so that kind of stuff. Um, I kind of have an issue with both because the zipper over time will probably rust, though it hasn't happened to me yet, but like I said, I don't use them enough for that to happen yet. And this one, the, the Velcro will probably stop working as well, but also it's just added plastic. So to me, that's like, ugh, it just hurts my heart just a little bit more that, that it has more plastic to it. So 
that's my two cents on the two styles that they have available. So as I alluded to at the beginning of this video, I do have some other alternatives that I've switched to in these past few years that I've been on my zero waste journey and trying to live more sustainably. And one of those is wax wraps. And I basically use these daily. They are just so great. They're so multi-purpose. You can make yourself a sandwich bag, as you can see. They stick to themselves um, and they are completely biodegradable. So these don't end up in the trash, they end up in the ground. I use mine to cover plates of food or like a casserole dish that isn't finished. Um, I use them for half eaten veggies and fruits and um, for storing, let's say, um, some cilantro or something like that. So they do a wonderful, wonderful job of preventing moisture from getting inside and of conserving fruits and veggies. And you can use them for a lot of stuff. I mean, look at all the drawings. <laughs> but basically, these would be my daily go-to. I just use them nonstop every day. Uh, I also use upcycled glass jars. These are another really, you know, awesome hack uh, for being zero waste. And these really are one of the best alternatives to use for food storage because they're made of glass, which is healthier for you. Of course, they're not gonna leach any toxins into your food. They're also great at conserving food because the moisture is gonna get inside, so they're completely, you know, airtight once you seal them. Um, I use mine just daily for storing snacks and food and sauces and that kind of stuff in the fridge as well as for freezing. So anything that my wax wraps can't do, these guys got it. <laughs> and these are things that would end up in the recycling anyways. So this way I'm just kind of giving them a second life um, and I use them as long as I can and it's awesome. So I really love these and as you can see, I have definitely put mine to use. Now, for leftovers or takeout at a restaurant, I bring my nifty little stainless steel double layered, or I don't know what you would call it, um, multi-layered uh, takeout container. And this one's awesome just because it doesn't weigh a lot and it's super easy to carry with me in my purse. Yes, I have to bring a big purse when I bring this, but it's totally worth it because I can just get takeout or store my food in there uh, when I have leftovers and nothing goes to waste. And we do have videos on our channel for all of these items. We have for the wax wraps, for freezing in glass jars and storing food in glass jars. And we talk about this a little bit more in our eco travel video because this is also an awesome, awesome thing to take with you on trips so that you don't waste food and you can pack your food in it. It's really, really awesome. Last but not least, you can reuse and upcycle um, stuff like cereal bags or resealable plastic bags, um, like the high quality ones that like they sell you nuts in or um, I don't know, dried mango slices, something like that. Um, I know Amanda and I both do this. We just reuse them and reuse them over and over again for as long as we can, just so that they don't get thrown out right away. We know they're going to end up in the trash eventually, but we use them for stuff, not like hot foods, but we use them for stuff like nuts and seeds and that kind of thing, especially when we're traveling, they come in super handy. So just to summarize real quick, if you just absolutely love and are addicted to Ziploc bags, and you can't imagine a world without them, but you are trying to live a little bit more sustainably, uh, lunch skins or another type of reusable storage bag are a good trade transition option for that. Um, however, whenever you are ready, make sure you check out our videos on those other more sustainable options that I spoke about today. If not, then make sure you try out those wax wraps and those upcycled glass jars. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you found this video helpful and that you liked it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have all sorts of other videos on living sustainably. If you're feeling super giving and super appreciative of this video, then please consider buying us a coffee or two on our Kofi page, which is linked in the description below. You can also just donate a dollar or 50 cents. We'll take whatever. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.